thank you, uh, Milan and Martin, for this wonderful opportunity to practice together. This is a lunar rohatsu, a kind of virtual rohatsu retreat. So we will try and keep the focus on the fundamental as much as possible. For the theme, I would like to use the English expression, not a leg to stand on, not a leg to stand on. This means not having a foundation, not having a leg to stand on. I use this as the theme because we cannot really practice from the standpoint of the deluded self, the self seeking for itself. In a word, the deluded self doesn't have a leg to stand on. It doesn't really have a standpoint. It is wavering, unstable, without foundation. This is the, the difficulty of practice. This is the frustration of self-centered practice. However, it is also the way through. Practicing properly, hmm? this is itself the way through, right here, right here. Practicing wrongly, you already know. <laughs> It simply prolongs the dis-ease. It exacerbates it, makes it worse. <laughs> the delusive seeking, craving continues on and on. This is a sure sign that something is wrong with your practice and needs to be corrected. That is why we are all here practicing together. A very simple Zen statement that sums it up, makes it all quite clear. It's a statement from the early Chinese Zen master, Mazu or Baso in Japanese. Very simple, four characters, four Chinese characters, literally the way not need cultivation, cultivate, like to cultivate a field, huh? to grow, to improve. Again, the way does not need cultivation, practice. The fundamental way of Buddhism, of awakening, does not need cultivation. This is a very famous expression of his. You see how easily it can be misunderstood. Oh, so I don't need to do anything. It doesn't matter. Let us listen a bit more carefully. Actually, he says, the way does not need cultivation. Just don't defile, D 
defile means to dirty, to stain, or to corrupt. Again, in context, he says, the way does not need cultivation, practice. Just don't defile it, stain it, dirty it, corrupt. What is it to defile or stain? What is that? This is what needs to be made clear. When that is clear, we truly know that the way does not need cultivation. But first, we must be clear in our bones. Just don't defile it, stain it, corrupt it, dirty it. In the present world context, we could put it like this. Every virus needs a host. A virus cannot continue for long without a host. In the context of our present practice, what is that virus, that dis-ease, and what or who is the real host. Hmm? This is what must be made clear in our bones. If the way does not need cultivation, as Matsu or Basso says, Where does the genuine need, the urge to practice and to awaken come from? Where does the genuine urge, the need to practice and to awaken, where does that come from? Does that come from the split self, the self-centered self? I urge you, don't waste your precious time. Don't waste your life running in circles, chasing after yourself. The way is inseparable. It cannot be separated from awakening itself, from true practice itself. The way is awakening. The way comes from and goes to awakening. It never leaves it. This is being without self. I trust you see, the way needs no cultivation. Yes, yes. That is how thoroughgoing our practice must be. Far from meaning, oh, anything goes. It doesn't matter. No, this expression shows how thorough, how thoroughgoing our practice must be. I urge you to master the techniques necessary for sustained practice. 
we have already gone through these techniques, body, breath, and mind in great detail for the last few decades. So I will not waste precious time here going over it again. Huh? How to use this body hmm, to practice, how to breathe properly, and the proper mental attitude, so to speak, that is needed for sustained practice. This has been gone through in great detail in earlier lectures, Dharma talks, they're up on the website. I trust if you have not already mastered them, when this retreat is over, you will go back and see where you need to develop and mature this practice to, in a sense, cultivate what does not need to be cultivated until you know from inside what it truly is. This way needs no cultivation. Rather than say, just don't defile it, I would say, then it cannot be defiled. Now, I urge all of us to give all of ourselves to this present practice. Nothing abstract or general at all. It is the most immediate, direct, inescapable, essential, concrete thing possible. Compared with this, our wandering mind is the abstraction, isn't it? <laughs> what we do with our mind, that's the abstraction. This is not abstract in any way. And this is where the practice must come from and go to. All you need to do is to open up and not escape from what is here. Don't defile it. Then it is true. The way does not need cultivation. You must confirm this for yourself through your own practice. This being without self. Does it come and go? Truly be without self and confirm. Does that come and go? Inquire immediately, directly, confirm it in your bones. Hmm? Being without self does not come and go. It is the seeking self that is coming and going, coming and going coming and going, coming and going. That's why you're so frustrated. Because in effect, you're not practicing. Rather, the seeking self is still wavering. It is still unsettled. Fine, see it through all the way. Hmm? Right there where you cannot come fully to rest, where you don't have a leg to stand on, 
right there. You must confirm this for yourself. What we call the self, myself, I, me, sounds really solid and one, doesn't it? Self, the self. <laughs> and yet, I invite you to really examine it up close, up close. This one now inquiring. Huh? Is this self really one or is it split? It's obvious. The very fact that the self is seeking itself, <laughs> well, it's already split, isn't it? And Humpty Dumpty cannot bring the pieces back together again. The self being split, it's inevitable. It cannot be helped. That self is split. That split is what we call the self. <laughs> but it's not a self. It's split from top to bottom. And it is that split self do you see, that seeks to free itself, <laughs> that chases its tail and then wonders why it is so tired. That split self seeks to no avail. It will never get there. It seeks to free itself, to get free from itself. And so it goes on and on coming and going, coming and going. It cannot come to rest. This is what you must see through in your own experience. Don't rely on words, mine or anyone else's. You must confirm this yourself. Where are you trying to get to in your practice. Hmm? Where are you trying to get to in your practice? Huh? Where are you coming from in your practice? You must dive into this. Merely having thoughts about it is worthless. It's less than worthless. That's why sustained zazen is what it is. Diving in directly and immediately. That split self, that seeking self is coming and going. That's what it is, coming and going. Come and go. That's what's called dukkha. It cannot come to rest. So what does it mean to say the way does not need cultivation? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? This self that you hold so dear, it continues, it continues. What is it the continuity of? What is it that continues? Hmm? What is it that continues? The hairs on your head, they fall out. Your fingernails, they grow long and you cut them. Your body, it grows old. Your mind, it grows old too. 
what is it after all that you think continues on? What is that? What is that? Please don't run away from it. In the end, you can't. So don't waste your time trying. Instead, dive right in, right there. On the outside, people get this image that, oh, awakening, enlightenment must be like a zombie or something, you know, no feelings, no thinking, right? No mind. <laughs> Grasping on to some continuity that is not there. Grasping on to some self-identity. That is the dehumanizing, <laughs> depersonalizing. That is what makes us like zombies, isn't it? Hmm? The seeking self doesn't have a leg to stand on. This doesn't need a leg to stand on. From the very first, not needing one leg, one toe, one atom, to stand on. This is release from all. It is also release for all. And yes, it is <laughs> beyond cultivation. It is before cultivation or defilement. <laughs> this is what you must come to in your own practice. Here is where we really begin. Hmm? We have such a wonderful opportunity here, virtually online, but still, in a sense, we truly are from all over the world together as one practicing. Let us make best use of this precious opportunity. I would like to say some final words before opening it up for practice questions. But first, please feel free to stand up and stretch for a moment if you would like.
For the benefit of all, please consider well if you have a question from out of the practice, as Milan made clear, not an abstract or intellectual question, a question of the practice. Make it as clear and exact precise as you can. A clear question allows for a clear answer. Hmm? What is it that really needs to be asked, made clear? Hmm? Then please feel free for the benefit of all to raise it. Milan, I hand it over to you. Thank you, Jeff. If anyone has a, a practice related question um, about the Dharma talk or where they are in their practice at this time in this retreat, uh, please feel free to take yourself off mute and uh, go. Many uh, people here are not native English speakers. So if there's something that's not clear, you didn't understand, please feel free to ask about that as well. Cyrus? Jeff. Um, just to check that I am on track. Sometimes when it feels like mud and the, the I, I know I'm chasing. Am I on track to, to actually allow that to really give myself to the, 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 I say mud, the mm -hmm. just give over to it. That's my mm -hmm. situation and quest. Practically speaking, it's important not to, uh, generate more mud, not to indulge in uh, your muddiness or your perhaps dull mind or wandering, wavering mind. But you already see, don't you, that to try to set it up as the enemy and then to fight with it and try to subdue it is more of the same. <laughs> It's just continuing the same circle. So you're correct in the sense that you don't need to do anything 
with it. If you can do precisely that, it's no problem. Not do anything with it. Not indulge in it, but not hate it and try to destroy it either. It cannot really defile. That's what Basso failed to make clear. Huh? Just don't defile it. Yes. But can this really be defiled? Right there, you see the mud itself <laughs> is where the lotus comes out. So you're right, don't turn it into the enemy. That's just prolonging the dis-ease, huh? Mm -hmm. But don't indulge in it either. Don't do anything. And it is helpless. If you don't feed it, <laughs> the virus cannot continue. <laughs> it, uh, was it Rinzai that said uh, it takes two to tango? <laughs> or no, that was my mother, I think. Anyway. <laughs> It sounds easy, but, and in a way, ultimately it is. It's not even one to not do a thing with it. Oh, that's easy. Okay. No, <laughs> is it? See what your mind is actually doing. Are you feeding into it? Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, there's some work. to truly not do a thing with it. Does that help, Cyrus? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Do you want to say anything else? Clear. If anyone else would like to speak up from their own experience, please feel free. Uh, Andreas, you uh, have your hand up, so please feel free to take yourself off mute. Yes. Does it work? Yes. Ah, okay. Because I don't see Chef as Milan. But anyway, um, yes, it's a little bit the same direction, the question, uh, like Cyrus, and I think for a lot of us all. It's like if you just continue, continue on in the praxis, like from openness, it seems to me that there's always the self like a parallel. You know, even if the samadhi is deepen or deepen a little bit more, sometimes it's not there, but you come back. It's always registering like where you are or what. Mm -hmm. Uh, what state we are in or I am in. And it seems like uh, it, it, uh, it, it want to have uh, everything analyzed and controlled. So mm -hmm. um, what, is, what is the best way uh, to deal with that? In I myself, I just, I, I don't ignore it, but mm -hmm. I, I, I just don't go into it. Um, mm -hmm. I just sit further. I'm not a psychologist, but uh, from my own experience, I can see for myself how uh, a kind of insecurity, the self doesn't really know, it's insecure by its nature, being split, how can it not be? It is insecure, it has nothing to hold on to really. So that if I use this maybe psychological term, huh? insecurity, huh? that insecurity is certainly one of the things that drives huh? the seeking self. You can see this, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's an insecurity. Huh? So it doesn't make sense to pretend it's not there. If that is the felt experience, then see, what is that really? What is that? Not judging it or evaluating it or condemning it or praising it. No. What is it really? What is it really? That insecurity? What if you didn't need to be securely holding on to something? What then, Andreas? It would be perfect. Uh, I mean, the that when, mind, it, when it comes up, yeah, uh -huh. that mind must come naturally to its own end, and it does. It's it's already ended right here. It cannot continue. It it has it doesn't have a leg to stand on. When you really see that it no longer has a hold on you. Huh? Yeah, but, but still it's hmm. popping up. Well, well I mean, that's where you need to devote yourself. Your samadhi must be deepened. That's where the danger of Basso Matsu's explanation, just saying, way needs no cultivation. Well, you're lost, you're sunk. <laughs> just don't defile it. You must sit through that not one thing, not seeking anything, not running away from anything, right to the bottom, right here, right to the bottom. Otherwise, yes, you're right. You will just keep going around and around and around and around. It's up to you. Anyone else, please feel free to speak up or raise your hand on the uh, raise hand icon selector. Do you see where you are right now, Andres? Here. Do you need to be somewhere else? No. Really see that, Andres? Yes, yes. I know. No, it's not enough to know. <laughs> That is also the question. That is like, it's like a, a dragon always uh, like, uh, you know, you, you cut one head of the another and another and you, you think. It's endless. It's endless. When, when the hell. Uh... <laughs> That's not, it's because the dragon is trying to cut off its own head and then another one grows and another one grows. You've been there a thousand times, Andreas. Stop. Yes. Stop. Stop. I have the deep feeling that like the self is never living in the objective reality. It cannot because it's not true. 
But okay. I, I really don't know what is this last, or what is this last step in the deepest of samadhi to wake up. I don't know. You don't know. That's fine. It's I, I, I feel yourself, it, but it doesn't come you out. You want to know, Andreas? That's what gets in your way. You don't know. Now dive I, in there. Yes. This. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is the, the direction. It's clear. There is no bottom. I, I really don't know shit. I mean, I, I, I don't think that I feel it. I, I really don't know. Go right through there, Andreas. Right through there. No place else. Stop wandering around. Right there. That's where the mud <laughs> reveals its gold. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a bad feeling, but it is like mm -hmm. sitting before a wall or something. Yeah. It's yeah. very yes. humbling and also like that there you don't have a feet. There is nothing you can stand on. That's right. Yeah. Of course, pain is there, or whatever, and of course the self wants to do something with it, but I just try to be one with it and sit in front of the wall. What should I do? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But it, it doesn't feel so bad. And finally be that wall, Andreas. What, what you're asking about is common. Almost everyone else here can relate to that. Yeah, this is why I, I was raising it's the question. Possible. But you have to go through it for yourself. There's no other way. And you have to get to the point where you don't know a friggin' thing. Yes. Yes. That is a good place to be, as it's often said. It's hard to understand that from one side, but go, go where there's no yes. place to go. You have great trust. That's yes. all. That's all. Yes. Can I, I say something to this? Also, like, if you come in, I think if we come to this point, like the self also, like try to make out of this something like a neutral state, what I think it's it's wrong. Forget it. Forget it, huh? Because like it's nobody can say something, but uh, but it is you like don't think that. forget it. Drop, drop it. All of that is worth it. Drop it all. That's what keeps you going. That's what keeps you deluded. You're yes. generating, nobody else. Yes. Yes. You've got to see that, Andreas. <laughs> yes. You've got to get serious about the practice. Yes. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you, everyone, for your comments. I'd also like to say that uh, it's very helpful to, to me in my practice because this is a common theme as well of hitting a, a, a wall, so to speak, in samadhi where I've, I've been doing this and, and through the technique and through my practice, I come to a place of just there it just seems a, a a sticking point where where yeah. i can't go it, it, it's it just it just i just get to a quiet still dead so to speak place where where things are fine and and i'm i'm you know thoughts are very low modulation and i i'm feeling a deep sense of abiding peace and ease and yeah, there's pain, but I'm in this Samadhi space. And then I ask myself, okay, great. Here we are again. And now what? And, and that, and that, and it's, it's just, 
I, that's just where I, that's where I go. And, and that's where, that's where I, 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 I need to work or, or not. Yeah. But thank you all. Thank you all for your questions and comments. So here uh, we are, according to the schedule, it's uh, 748 New York time. So we'll take a, a 12 minute break and uh, come back at um, eight and then sit to 820 and come back onto the regular schedule. Thank you. <laughs>